Hey, what's up? Luke Trevine here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about super compensation and how it can help you break through your plateaus. Hey, Luke Trevline here, certified strength and conditioning specialist and personal trainer. I'm here to talk in this video briefly about super compensation, which is a very overlooked part of training or fitness that people tend to ignore. Uh, basically what super compensation is is putting a stress on the body or your training followed by a recovery or active recovery which then in turns turns into super compensation where you're above your previous baseline level of fitness or strength or conditioning or endurance or whatever it is and a lot of people ignore that that recovery um, what they usually do is either they're doing too high of intensity all the time and never allowing the body to regenerate and bring it up to a new baseline level or they're just doing too low of an intensity constantly and they're not taking their body to a higher stress which is not going to adapt and change and it's going to stay the same and those are two big reasons why people go to the gym for years or months at a time and never see any change because they're they're not taking their body above baseline level or staying at baseline level and getting the recovery in between so the body can adapt and grow. Um, you really need to focus on getting that recovery or active recovery uh, during your high intensity training. So if you're, you're training five days a week at a, a really high intensity and you're not bringing it back down a little bit to recover and regenerate, you're not going to get the results you want. Maybe in the beginning when your body's adapting to a new stress, but eventually it's going to a plateau and you're going to be stuck at the same place. So when you're doing high intensity training, you need to either do a deload week or, or have recovery sessions in between your high intensity sessions. You can't just go all week beating your body up and expect results because uh, you're not recovering. So let's just say you did three weeks on of high intensity, maybe every other day, and then after that third week, you're going to drop and do a deload week where that week you're doing uh, either less volume, less intensity, uh, less reps, less sets and allowing the body to recover so when you go back the next week your body's going to super compensate and you're going to be at a higher level than you were the week before because you allowed to to regenerate and regrow as far as the other way around if you're doing too low intensity all the time you're, you're never taking it above its baseline level so it's not going to adapt to a new stress and, and get better uh, it's not going to help you burn fat or build muscle because you're, you're constantly at a at a low intensity if you're just going and running on the treadmill at the same amount of miles per hour every time or you're doing the same weight and same reps consistently all the time your body's not going to adapt to that and it's just going to stay the same which can be very frustrating so what you need to do is get that recovery in and it doesn't have to it doesn't mean take the whole week off or you need to you know do nothing for an entire day you can do active recovery where maybe you did a very high intensity Work out on Monday, on Tuesday you do just mobility work, foam rolling, um, light, light aerobic work, a light jog, elliptical, walk, whatever, staying active, or just decreasing the reps and sets the next day to a, a lower intensity and then follow that up the next day with a higher intensity workout. You don't want to do back to back to back to back to back high intensity workouts all the time because your body's going to beat down and not be able to regrow. Um, so you really need to think about that when you're putting that into your training that allow the body to recover. So it's okay to work out multiple days a week and or even twice a day some people do, but you have to allow the recovery in between because you're never going to super compensate if you don't. So you need to train at high intensities or take the body above its baseline level. You know, try and do something more difficult, make it make it a, a higher uh weight or a longer distance or a higher intensity or something followed by some type of recovery going back to another high intensity workout or something to make it more stressful on the body followed by recovery is basically what you're looking to do and especially if you're peaking for like an athlete for a for a tournament or something you're gonna train really hard up to it followed by some some recovery and then right into your competition so you're at peak condition on the day of the tournament. You don't want to be in peak condition the week before or three days before or a week afterwards. You want to be in the best possible shape and strength and conditioning 
the day of your tournament or whatever you're training for or a race or a powerlifting competition, whatever it is. So you need to be able to, to involve super competition into your training. And that involves planned um, training and recovery, not just random workouts and, and hopefully I get results. So that, that takes a lot of focus, time, and effort that if you don't know how to do that, you might want to look into hiring a trainer or requiring some knowledge of your own by reading a book or you know, looking it up online from a, a certified professional. So I hope you guys found this information useful. If you do, please share and like the video and subscribe below. Thank you.